Alright guys, today on Skybounds, we are going to be testing out the God Set PvP and see can we actually succeed in the Warzone and maybe get some kills. No Alright guys, welcome back to the fourth episode of Skybound. Skybounds.com is a server IP. As always, you can use code Zoid on the store for 10% off. I don't believe there's another discount code like that. So if you do play Skybounds or you do want to play Skybounds and you plan on buying something, go ahead and use that code and take advantage of it. Guys, last video we ended off setting up this factory right here. I did AFK it with everything um, that we had added into it. You can see we have a level 4 mining machine and a level 2 egg machine as well. So overall pretty good, but to be able to grind that out, I gotta level up my skills. I don't really want to do that right now. The main focus of today like i said in the intro is god set pvp all right guys so in these three chests behind me we have everything that we need to god set pvp on skybounds first things first we got supplies okay we got all the healing salts as you guys know we got this in the last episode which allows us to actually make our own healing salts as you can see we can collect 20 right there so i can just cope with those in an extra chest right here is another supplies chest with ender pearls golden apple two pets which is actually really good the shaman pet which is very good for pvp has a chance to block damage and then the mercenary pet that when in use grants a chance to reflect damage while in pvp as well and then of course gemstone slots for making god sets we got splash heal twos which we have more of over here i believe um that we can get later if we need to and then we have four stacked debuffs or i guess two stacks of four um which give wither two and blindness two this chest is where it gets interesting guys we have two different armor sets right here the hunter set and the frost walker set as well as two dragon chest plates which is the best ch chest plate in the game pretty sure uh protection for and breaking two immune to fire 2.5 percent chance to deal two times damage to players and you can use it with any armor set to receive the buff so we don't need the frost walker chest plate we don't need the hunter chest plate it automatically like kind of like sinks into what you're wearing we also have two weapons the betty and the vampire set sword betty a rare drop only obtainable from the bakas it does slightly more damage than a sword and can be used to toss your enemy in the air right click and then vampire set sword has one enchant on already life steal five and it's sharp two now all these scrolls are actually gemstones of enchants okay we got four of Invasion 5s, 4 Impede 5s, and all of these are unique enchants. I have no idea what any of these do, so we are going to go over each one and kind of build a god set the way we think is best. All right, so we've got Wicked Eyes 1. It applies the helmets, grants a 50% chance to stop darkness and rot gemstones. Okay, those are other enchants so we'll have to figure out what those do i'm sure we have those blade fury 5 chance to inflict 20 to 30 percent more damage while in combat obviously a really good enchant um and it goes to swords so we can put this right here we're not going to apply anything on just yet bleeding three chance to inflict bleeding on your enemy for x seconds uh don't know what x stands for maybe it's three because it's bleeding three uh, applies the sword though so we can keep that right there but i think i don't know if we can add more slots actually i can test that let's go ahead and do this gemstone okay so we actually can do more than three okay that, that's good i don't know what the max is though so we got to be careful i'm not going to add anything just yet okay gears two you need this it's permanent speed everyone knows what gears is uh darkness five chance to inflict blindness on your enemy boost plague duration okay i don't know what plague is but we'll probably figure that out soon but blindness is good because it makes you stop sprinting and uh, overall it just makes them panic okay increased hearts for tank five obviously we're doing this one applies to armor probably chest plate rage one okay i think we already oh no actually no rage is the thing i already know what rage is it's like you right click you get speed and strength and then you take poison afterwards um but it goes on swords we can put this over here with the sword enchants darkness three chance to inflict blindness on your enemy boost plague duration i swear i already oh, oh we've got darkness three and darkness five that's interesting i don't know why we have two of those we got root three chance to give slowness to your enemy in pvp okay swords again are there any axes or do they all say swords maybe you can apply to both i don't i don't actually know okay battle chance three chance to temporarily gain a boost of speed and strength to demolish your enemy in combat obviously that's a good one uh savior five so level five will do everything above and knock surrounding enemies away and what will it do so we'll provide regen for a few seconds and save you from a fatal blow okay so you won't die and it will do everything above and make you immune for three seconds okay so it's going to give me regen for a few seconds Seconds, make me immune and knock everybody away if i'm about to die so that's really really good thunderclap five chance to strike your enemy with lightning dealing three hearts of pure armor ignoring damage that seems really good that could execute somebody okay we're putting that over there skeleton army chance to spawn on skeletons to help you fight that's like mid I, it's probably good if i'm like getting smoked but if i'm being aggressive maybe that's not that good okay this one a chance to shuffle enemy hop bar around i already know that's going to be a difficult one to counter so that's 100 good deal percent more damage when entering combat for five seconds two to three minutes okay so we'll do that one as well that's a good one um springs to jump height i might as well i mean everyone knows a spring is it just gives you jump boost lucky 10 chance to redirect incoming damage on nearby players that's a good one plague three. Oh, this is the enchant that we were looking at earlier chance to inflict wither on your enemy okay nice um siphon five chance to steal some of your enemy's positive potion effects that seems good as well combo five 
Build up damage multiplier by dealing consecutive hits without taking... Okay, that's a really good one for me. You guys know that. Undead 5. When low on health, you receive buffs to help you survive. That seems good as well. I think we're going to be able to apply every single armor enchant, but I think we're going to have to decide on the sword ones for sure. Evasion 5. Okay, chance to evade uh, attacks while in combat. Impede. Chance to put enemies end of pearls, vanishing orb, and leaping spell on a 7 second cooldown. And then these are the other ones right there. So I guess we'll have to decide about the sword, but I think we can fit all of these enchants onto a set. So now we actually decide what set we want to build this on. Okay, so both are prop four. I'm breaking three other than the chest plate. Um, same chest plate always. And then the hunter set. Okay, so immune to blindness. Upon hitting enemies, they have a chance to glow for 20 seconds. And that gives you a 40% damage boost. That's pretty good because a 20 second glow and a 40% damage boost, that seems very, very good. And Frostwalker is immune to slowness. And then you can make people get slow as well. Honestly, guys, we're doing hunter. Okay, we're going aggressive. That's definitely what we're doing. So the thing is, I don't know if gemstones actually stack. We do have four evasions right here and four impedes, which the impede one seems kind of good because you keep them on cooldown for like these really good things ender pearls leaping and vanishing or basically makes it so they can't run away um and then over here evasion also is really good if they stack that means you can basically not get hit okay i just asked in chat they both actually do stack so we will be putting both of these on every single piece of armor guys we have every i think that's a fully maxed out set i'm not gonna lie guys i'm pretty sure a five lore might be the highest and we have every really good enchant on here so putting it on i get fire rise i get speed two i get jump boost two we have the hunter set bonus and look at my hearts we have 18 hearts which is really really good okay so i'm guessing that all of these don't apply to i mean i don't know it says applies to swords but then one of them says weapons which makes me think that maybe that's the only axe enchant you can put on it i have no idea we'll have to find out i guess we're gonna obviously focus on the sword so let's actually look at these enchants again okay thunderclap is definitely a good one okay chance to deal enemy with three hearts of damage pure we're definitely doing that one we'll wait on the debuff like the small debuff ones can wait okay combo five is going on there 100 rage one is on there 100 darkness five okay so that's blindness again um these like the same ones right here i guess actually and then root three grand slowness chance to deal 20 percent. okay that's a good one put that oh 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 i hope i this might be the last one though so we'll see i think that's the best one to do um but maybe we can add more let's find out I hope I chose the right ones. I think I did. I really hope I did because we got wither. We, we're not doing wither. We're not doing blindness. We're not doing slowness. We're not doing bleeding. We're not getting them on fire and we are not uh, blindness again. But let's actually see if we can put it on the axe. If we can do it on the axe. Okay, we can actually put it on the axe. We'll just put everything else on here then. All right, well, I hope I got the, <laughs> I hope I chose the right enchants, guys. I really do. All right, well, we have the complete loadout here. This is what we're gonna be rocking. The vampire set as our main weapon. I kind of just realized I could have put rage on the axe instead because all rage is is a right click activate so i mean it kind of realistically has no purpose on the sword just realize that now we could have added one of these good enchants on the sword but that's too bad that's fine um and then we can see right here we have the mercenary the shaman pet and then the full healing solves and everything we need so yeah guys it is time to pvp the one concern i do have is i actually can get ganked i'm actually used to god set pvp on skybounds where uh, i'm in the duelist set and in the duelist set you obviously get locked into combat and uh, you basically can't get ganked out by anybody if we read right here lock yourself in 1v1 style combat and warzone with whoever combat tags you so that's a really unique feature of the duelist set but sadly that is not on this set so we could get ganked out we will have to see but i think we're gonna pvp in warzone i don't know if there's like a pvp arena but i want to go to warzone because i think warzone a lot of people are by themselves if you guys remember i actually died a couple of times last episode when i was there getting money so maybe that's kind of the move and okay so there's turfs as well i don't know what this is i think capture the turf to gain benefits okay it's like outpost kind of warzone index oh Oh, I didn't even know this existed, bro. It kind of like, oh, it shows up all of the loot that you could possibly get in Warzone. That's cool. Okay, anyway, let's go back to Warzone. And uh, I guess we'll see if we can find somebody. There's a soul stone right here. 50-50 chance to save an item upon death. Maybe I should be like applying that to my armor. I know I have more of these too. Wait, can I just put that on there? Oh, I need 250,000 XP. Don't have that. Nope. Okay, Legendary Skydrop just got called in chat. And there's actually a decent reward. I think it might be decent. The farming machine at these coordinates. So I'm going to go there. I assume other people would go there as well. Okay, nobody's at the Legendary chest. But I might as well take it. I need a farming machine. Alrighty. And unlocked. And factory machine farming. Yeah, I'm going to take that. 100,000. I might as well just take this as well. And I'll just go ahead and redeem it really quick. And then we'll go back to our base. I'm pretty sure now we can just place this right here. And yeah, there we go. We can put seeds in here as well, which is good. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure I have a lot of that, but I'll just wait on that for now. Because once again, the focus is God's PvP. The thing I got to figure out though is my hunger just keeps going down. 
And I don't think I can even buy food. Okay, I just saw somebody at zero zero, like right at the end of the F home. I didn't actually record it because the reason being is, guys, I forgot spells, bro. I gotta get my spells right now. I didn't really go over these either, so I might as well do it now. So we got the purge spell that removes all negative effects. The gambler spell, oh, this is something I don't know what it is. Cast receive one random potion effect three. That's pretty cool. You get like strength three and something like that. Knockback that pushes people away. Leaping is a good leaping one. This one heals eight hearts instantly for a 60 second cooldown. And then a vanishing orb, you like put it down and it blinds the enemy and you get like speed four. So it's really good. I'm going all the way, guys. I, 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 really, I kind of have to go all the way because otherwise there's not, no point of really doing this to be honest um we, we are going all the way okay that's going to be our loadout and i mean we don't have many healing cells but that's okay i probably won't use the debuff i'll just keep it on me just in case though but i just got to like know where to sort these Alrighty, guys, our first God Set battle is coming up against IGN Cash. He just messaged me in game, said, yo, you want a 1v1? I said, where are you at? He said, 0-0. Zero, zero. I said, no gank, right? And he said, I don't gank. And then apparently, um, we should be fine. So we have some people spectating, I think. So we're in the war zone running to 0-0. Zero, zero. That's where I was kind of like looping around. I was trying to find people here, but I didn't. Um, I think, is 0-0 zero, zero just like a flat area over here? Oh, here we go. I don't even have a shield. I forgot a shield, bro. Oh my God, that's embarrassing. Okay, wait, he, this guy just gave me one. I was literally about to ask him. I was literally about to ask him for it. Okay, Obsidian Shield. All right, thank you. Thank you, bro. Okay, here we go. I guess we're going to we're gonna fight now. Um, oh, he's, oh I, already, I already have one. I already have one popped. Okay, here we go. I raged already. Oh, my God. My hearts are going down. My hearts are going down, dude. I can't tell if I'm doing good or bad. It looks like I'm doing bad. I'm not going to lie. Okay, we're going to see what we can do here. Um, I just use that. Oh, my God. Dude, is he even like... Oh, I just healed up the full off savior. That's good. Oh, we're comboing him. We're comboing him. Oh, there's other people in the background. I hope we don't get ganked out. Oh, shoot. This is... This is... I'm not liking this one. Oh, okay. I'm not... I, I'm really rusty with this, guys. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I just got... I got jump boost three. That was not good. All right. I'm gonna do the vanishing orb, I think. Oh, my God. I cannot PvP on here. I cannot do it, guys. I cannot freaking do it. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, he's marked, too. He's marked. Pop down one of those. And then I got speed three. I got speed four or whatever. Oh my god. I do 40% more damage right here. I do 40% more damage. Okay, I healed. Oh, my speed's gone now. Everything's gone. All my effects just disappeared. Honestly. Oh my god. Dude. He says I need to crapple more. Dude, I'm like, well, I'm going to one heart. Like, I don't understand. I don't understand how I'm doing so bad. Oh my god. There's just no way. Like, we're getting absolutely destroyed. I suck at this. God said PvP right here. Dude. Dude. Like, I can't. I I'm so dead. I'm freaking dead. I'm dead. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm dead. I literally am on half a heart. Oh, God. He's... Oh, I knocked him away. Nope, I died. All right, he's giving my stuff back like he said. So we just got to learn how to actually do this. He said I need to be crappling like 10 times more and I shouldn't even be using salts. Dude, he didn't heal once. That entire fight, he did not heal once. All right, guys. Well, that was pretty pathetic. I'm not going to lie on my last attempt at trying to try and godset PvP. Hopefully, I can get another fight and like try to be better and just gapple a lot more. I feel like... I don't know, dude. I just, I don't know if I can do it. We also got a dragon pet. He gave it to us. A pet that when in use grants a 5% chance for enemies' custom enchants to not proc. If you use a dragon the chest plate 10 percent which is good oh there's a guy here there's a guy here i don't even know who this guy is okay this is like an actual fight this is not an arranged 1v1 oh shoot i should not be okay 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 wait wait i should knock him away yep i knocked him away that did not really help drop down one of those where did he go oh i got speed four. Oh, we're we're doing good he said i'm second best you're second best on what on the freaking server i'm screwed then i'm screwed oh shoot okay i rage i rage i rage i'm doing damage i'm doing damage why is he not even like he's not even taking damage he's just not taking damage at all i don't understand oh shoot okay dude like bruh like bruh like bruh dude <laughs> all right guys well i tried i wanted to make a good episode of god's at pvp but i just i can't I suck. Okay, guys, I'm, I suck. I'm sorry if this video is short, but I couldn't do it, guys. I really tried, and I just couldn't do it. I got to start learning that. I don't know why I deal so little damage compared to everyone else. And, like, like I was already hitting that guy, like, eight times, and he didn't even, like, have to pot or anything. I don't know if it's because I had a sharp two, and maybe that's not good enough. But, like, man, we just got smoked. Okay, well, 
apparently max sharpness is three. I had sharp two. I think that's a pretty big difference. I don't really know if that's the reason I was doing no damage, but uh, I mean, man. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna end off the video right here. Once again, I'm sorry if it was too short, but we kind of went through the process of making a god set, what enchants you can put on, which is pretty interesting uh, to kind of see the diversity between obviously my servers with custom enchants and this one right here. And then the actual PvP itself, very unique and definitely something you can actually learn and get good at. Like, you know, I'd say that I'm okay at normal PvP, and when I got put in this environment, I'm absolutely trash. That does mean there is definitely a skill gap here that you can learn and try to get to the top. Like that guy said, he was the second best on the server. I wonder who the first best is. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys later. Hope you guys enjoy. It's guybuns.com, survive IP. Peace out.